Hello there and welcome to this video on conversations on consciousness. So today I'm going to be speaking to you about colour therapy. So what is colour therapy? Uh, chromotherapy is also that um, is out there of, of colour in your life which can help benefit you, support you, complement you, everything. So colour can influence our lives in such a way uh, on the inside and the outside. So by the clothes that we wear. So there's certain colors can help you feel in a certain way, a certain mood. Like, like Tibetan monks, for example, were wearing the color orange to do with enlightenment, um, whereas white is to do with like enlightenment as well. Dark colors help to do with more seriousness, such as like with funerals or like businesses, or even like the color of your tie. You know, if you see someone in a suit, but they have like a pink tie, you'd be like, oh, what's the occasion? Or they're quite funny. So the best like color, you know, tie to wear at like a interview for for a business would be like a black or like a blue tie, for example. But if you wear like a different color tie, it would show that you aren't probably very serious or dedicated. Um, it's just the impression that we get straight away when we're looking at certain things. And color is very very important in our homes, in our life. Color is around us all the time, unless we are colorblind. And even if we are colorblind, we see colors in a completely different way. So, color raises temperature; it lowers temperature just by the colors in the room. So, if you are in, if you paint your lounge or your living room, can you imagine it being like a gray or a blue color? It probably has quite a cool coolness to it. But if you were to paint it like a red, an orange, or like a, a mauve color, regardless of the temperature in the room, taking photos or even being in the room will kind of make you feel warmer itself. And it gives a, a welcoming too, but not just that, it's the hue of the color. Um, not the name hue, the hue as in the shade. So like, even if you're in a room that is red, that if the walls are very bright red, more a very pastel uh, lighter shade of, of red. It wouldn't feel so bad, but however, if it's like a blood red, like a very dark red, uh, almost close to maroon or just a dark royal red, basically, then it can feel much smaller. And, and that's because red itself is a spectrum of light which um, gets absorbed more by light itself. So. Um, this is why like infrared cameras, they work well on, a, on using a, a red um, spectrum and a certain uh, wavelength of, of red light, for example. Um, color immersion um, in, in the room can also change um, the environment. This is why I use colored lights as well in, in, in events, in, in sessions to just change the vibrancy and the, the feelings of the room. It depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Sometimes I might change to orange or a red or a purple. I very rarely ever do it green. I don't find it's a very happy, uplifting color. It can be quite fresh, but for a fair therapy for myself, for, for giving others, then I use like purple or sometimes blue, reds, orange. I change, yeah, and I have these colored lights that, which blast up on the on the on the walls and on the, on the ceilings and stuff it just changes the environment completely so color is is a big um, you know a big important thing in our lives and you can change color in a room by just changing um, like the color of glass for example the windows coming in into the room can be painted a different color or you can put something in front of it which will change the the, the, the sunlight coming into the room itself, which is why like uh, in churches you have stained glass windows which completely change the whole environment inside with all these different colors. You know, it has all these different rainbow colors and, and everything, which is very important. And that's something called immersion therapy. Um, with chromotherapy, you have something called complementary colors, which are sometimes the opposite of the color spectrum. So you have like sort of red and on the other side you you have the opposite of that color. I can't think of it in the top of my head. But you have like a, the color wheel, the color chart. So like red will accompany like 
a green, for example, uh, and, and yellow will come to me like a, like a, a blue on the opposite spectrum. Um, I don't know, look up a color wheel online and you'll see that there is a color wheel with different colors, a rainbow of colors, and the opposites usually uh, are complementary um, colors for each other. And that's the same for when we are dressing up for ourselves, you know, um, going out, having black with, say, some orange or wearing black with some red. Although the black is quite dark, it's also quite serious, but then if you have some orange in it or yellow, it can really vibe things up and make things really interesting. So color plays a very, very big role, even to do with the, the seven chakras of our body. We have, if you know these, for example, uh, you have the crown, which is the top of the head, you have the third eye, um, so crown, which is white, third eye, which is indigo or violet, then you have uh, the throat chakra, um, which is blue, and then you have the heart, which is from the heart center, the heart chakra, which is a green, which is the center of our seven chakras. And then you have then green, then you have yellow, which is a, a soda plexus, which is doing logical thinking, etc. Then, then you have orange, which is the navel, and then root, which is the, the base of your spine, which is red. And um, yeah, it's kind of like certain parts of your body to do with, you know, certain of emo emotions and feelings. So when we think about passion and sex and erotica and all sorts of things, that is usually to do with reds and oranges. And that's to do with the base, more base chakras near our and honest regions are genital areas do with that sexual energy, that rising energy. And then the, the spiritual sort of like people who wear white to do like, you know, it could be like yoga, enlightenment, freshness, um, can be like the crown chakra, which is sometimes indigo or violet, depending on what you research, sometimes white. Um, and white contains a whole spectrum of different colors. It contains all colors. So if you see on the Pink Floyd album, and this is the same on Light Machines as well, that if you have white light coming in, and then you have the prism, then the white light disperses all that color and changes it into the seven different cosmic rays, which, you know, indigo, violet, red, green, blue, yellow, orange, etc. Probably said it in the wrong order, but you know, you know what I mean. So these, these are the same you know, the same as our chakra colors as well. That's because that is part of the spectrum. We are, we are cosmic beings, we are electromagnetic beings, we are beings of light. And so those, those light within ourselves, the, the wheels, the chakras, are, are known as spinning wheels of light in Sanskrit. So with that, they have counterparts, they have a connection, a coloration to different parts of our organs, as well as emotions as well. So when have you heard, oh, I've been feeling, you know, blue, you know, I've been feeling a bit blue. Okay, communication, you know, throat. Like, yeah, if you're not speaking your truth, if you're not expressing or you've been suppressed, then it's to do with like, you know, the suppression of, of feeling blue and the feelings of blue. Whereas green is to do with like love and, you know, happiness and balance and nature and prosperity and growth and we see that in nature with trees and bushes and everything. And then there's other colors too, which I can probably go more talking more about, um, you know, yellow with more logical thinking and orange with more, you know, rooting, earthy, uh, powerful energies. And, and the list goes on, you know, pink to do with more feminine, perhaps, um, you know, balance and nurturing, and that's what we need. And this is why like in, in hospitals, you know, the, the, the colors are like usually white, very white open spaces with some blues because the blue helps us feel a bit more secure. You know, imagine yourself if you were in a in a hospital waiting room and then suddenly it was just like, I don't know, red everywhere. If you were, if the room was like painted red, it would just feel very like depressing and like fear and anger. But then that color red can be changed into something very positive and powerful and energizing. Um, so it depends how we have a relationship with that, I guess that shadow self of colors, which is very interesting. 
There are also spring, summer, autumn, winter colours as well. And us as people, we can often be winter or summer, like uh, people with different undertones. So if you're dressing up, it's important to match your skin tone with your um, with your with your clothing, basically. So if you are a very pale person, if you're like very fair haired, ginger, lighter hair, uh, light skin, um, perhaps freckles, light light eyes, then it's like okay, you need colours that are very um, refreshing. Uh, light to go with that. Sometimes dark colours don't always go too well. Sometimes they do, but you need a cont- complementary colour in order to, co- to complement you. So in order to understand what your skin tones are, and these are for uh, you know all skin types, skin tones, doesn't matter what culture you come from, and if you can see your skin tones, now try and get a like a plain piece of uh, paper and natural light and look at the veins if you, you should be able to see some veins on your hand and mine look kind of more green than blue and if a little more green then you're more of um, of a warmer uh, undertone if you have blue then you have more of a cooler undertone of your skin so it's important to know which were which are which were <laughs> which are warm skin tones and which are cool skin tones and which are warm colours and, and cool colours, which complement your skin colour. So it's like some people I know like wear a lipstick that I'm like, oh, that doesn't really, it doesn't really match your skin tone very well. Actually does the opposite. Um, so, you, you know, it's okay wearing lipstick, but you can change a different colour in order to complement you. And the same thing goes for um, your house too, that if you have like wood or furnishings in, in your room, you need to, colors that complement each other and, and go and flow very well. So this is something called like uh, blending as well, when you blend colors into one another, which is, you know, very, very important. Um, so color is all around us, as we know, and light also plays an important factor, but it's also our mood as well. So in order, for, like color can help change our mood with uh, colour breathing, where we're breathing in a colour and exhaling another colour. So um, we can do this by just having a piece of card in front of us that is a certain colour. And if we want to say we want to feel more happiness or let's take doing a university degree, like a thesis or some studying, and you want to be more refreshed, then those refreshing colours could be like, like bright pinks and yellows. doesn't matter if you're male or female. Just looking at those colours for a short while and... Breathing in and just allowing that colour to flood your body, you'll you'll start to feel that you are more refreshed and energised. And that's exactly how like sunlight and like light machines can help influence us too. Just by us being aware of the, the light itself and it changing our, our feelings can really enhance our our well being. And that's something that's very important. So um Colour therapy can um, be suited for, for many people, all walks of life, young and old. And it's great for businesses too, because like things such as logos, logos and symbols that you want in your business to reflect your, your, um, your understanding of, of life and, you know, what, sorry, not understanding of life, but understanding of what you're offering, then the colours can help influence what you're really trying to achieve. So um, certain colours can give the wrong impact as well, um, which is why colours are very focusedly used with businesses to help them achieve more popularity and more be more comfortable. So again, if you were going to go to the hospital and it was all painted red outside with a certain logo and like, you'll probably get like uncomfortable feelings from that certain colour. I don't know why I keep saying hospital, (laughs) but... You get my understanding is that even in like someone's coming for an interview, if they turned up in like a red suit, you would think, okay, are they being serious? If they would turn up just white, you'd be different of them. But if they just turn up with just a black suit and a black tie, you would think they're more serious. I'm like, okay, I gotta, I've gotta, you know, make sure I get this person the job. 
So it's not just obviously about colour which changes people's moods, it is our cells, it's our well-being. But colour definitely can change how we feel. And colour is, is everywhere, all around us, and we have to utilise it as much as we can. For me, I use it in my daily life. I have um, different types of glasses. I have these ones, which are yellow, which are great. <laughs> they help change everything into um, a yellow hue. Uh, makes everything bright and like beautiful. In the, in the winter, autumn time, or any time of the year when I'm driving, and um, it is quite cloudy here in England and can be a bit depressive. So I put on the, my yellow glasses and they help everything become a little bit more happier and brighter and more beautiful. And so it makes everything seem more sunny. And at night they're used for night vision glasses for helping you reduce glare on the roads. And another reason by using the yellow, light, uh, the yellow glasses for me is that changing the it takes takes away the blue peak of light from um, from LED lighting from from like street lamps um, headlights from cars buildings um, in the town in the city everywhere it's it's quite draining for the eyes to be in this bright white blue bluish cool blue light I find it quite too energizing. I want to be relaxed, so I find that those glasses really help me to relax my eyes. And it just makes me feel a little bit better. So it's like, why not? If people laugh at me for wearing them, it's like, well, look, I'm, I'm doing this for me, I'm not doing this for you. Um, so that's, that's yellow. And I also have red glasses, which are really fun. And I don't do it, I don't go out and wear them, obviously. I wear these at night. And these are really, really great. Um, because if I'm working, um, if I'm working a long shift and I have to be up early, and I have to go to sleep early, then um, using these glasses to get me to sleep easier actually helps. Now, it's very it's hard to see everything in these, but I use these when I sit down and relax. So I can sometimes watch a bit of TV or like something on like you know my laptop, for example. Um, using these red glasses and it just takes away a lot of the bright colors in the room um, although to be honest these type aren't so great I want to get ones like my my yellow ones because the yellow uh, glasses they go more around the eyes as these are more like Elton John sort of more like fun freight faced and so I get a lot of light coming in the side so if you are to get some red or yellow glasses make sure that they're not round and they're they're more sports-like, so they cover the side of your eyes. That's the problem I found with these. Um, and yeah, I don't always use those. I try to be in, in darkness as much as possible because uh, to do with light and color is that if you want a good night's sleep, then having uh, less light in the room is best because when you are absorbing complete darkness, then you start to produce melatonin, which is really good for sleep. And sleep is a very big thing that we need in life to help us feel more happy and healthy. And, and, you know, it's our recharging port. You know, when we slip ourselves, we charge ourselves in our beds every night. And we've not, if we're not getting a good charge, we're not waking up the next day feeling really good. So the best way is that not even wearing these colour glasses, but actually being in total darkness or changing or having an app on your phone or your laptop called uh, f.lux flux or something called twilight there are other apps out there which can change your your phone settings or your screen settings on your devices laptops and everything uh, to take away the blue peak and it makes everything go a bit more red it takes a little time to get used to the, the the change but like even now in here in my little studio um, I have these lights that are set up and they're quite like intense so I won't be doing this before I go to sleep. So being aware of light and colour in your life is, is very, very important. Um, so aromatherapy, um, not aromatherapy, sorry, aurosoma, that's one another thing I wanted to talk about, which is aromasoma. <laughs> I think I was saying that wrong. Said that wrong. Um, aurosoma. That's it. Sorry. It's to do with the aura colors and 
and looking at them. So there's these colored bottles with, sorry, these, these bottles with colored, different colored fluid inside, two different colors. And these two different colors help um, blend with your energy of like how you're feeling. So therapists will use these or like uh, colored bottles, um, bottles with different colored fluids in there to help you feel a certain way for therapy. So talking you through some psychological or counseling and then you to focus on this color bottle or hold it and having a relationship with that color is very, very important. So if you want to be more happy in your life, then look at what you're wearing and what's around you. Like have a bit more light in your life, have a bit more color in the room, get outside, uh, wear different certain colors if you can, and you'll be surprised at how people change or react to you. And it's not about color, it's about you as a person, you know, like if you are happy and you're expressing and, and everything, then you can obviously change, you know, your environment and people around you and help people feel more relaxed. However, you can do this yourself by simply just being completely relaxed and wearing certain colors and, and ch changing your environment. And if you find that really uncomfortable, then I don't know, repaint the walls in your home, like your, I don't know, your, your lounge, the outside of your building. It has a huge impact. Um, yeah, just, just do some research on, on color therapy and the color wheel. And know and look at um, what com complementary colors are, because light and color plays a huge important part in our lives, and can really help us feel more stable, balanced, relaxed, and um, give the best out of people. So I hope you've enjoyed the color of the background. <laughs> um, may color be in your life. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.